Ghana, West Africa. And today we have an interview with the CEO, deputy CEO. with the deputy CEO, CEO of the Ghana Limited. Say it again. Empire Agri Ghana Limited. Empire Agri Ghana Limited. And we're going to be talking about growing hemp in Ghana or hemp farming in Ghana and the amazing opportunities for young people who want to repatriate to Ghana now. This is an opportunity not to be missed. So I'm going to do my introduction and we'll be coming right back. Yes, welcome back to our channel for another discussion about moving to Ghana, West Africa, and today we're finding out more about hemp farming. And uh, no, this is not all about the weed, this is about industrial hemp farming. And this is part one of a very interesting interview with Vice President Ras Aswad at the offices of Empire. Part two will follow shortly. So if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share and click the notification bell because it's free. It's quick and painless. And in life, you really have to make the best choices. So let's get into it. Okay, so Ras. Krabia, could you tell us, could you just break it down for us? What exactly does Hemp Agric Ghana do? And what's the opportunity that's available? Okay. Um, first, I need to say that um, we started off as an Hemp Association of Ghana, right? Um, at the time when we started off the, the, um, the advocacy, it was that institution that we used to assist the process of the legalization in Parliament where the M 0.3% was legalized according to the, the system of the um, parliamentarian system of Ghana. And that went on until we recognized the need to engage in the business aspect of it. So the Empire Greek Ghana Limited where you are right now is the business aspect of it. Right, the M Association, our Empire Association of Ghana, with the advocacy aspect of it that does all the advocacy. So, uh, before you continue, there's a lot of people who will be asking themselves: mm -hmm. Are you talking about um, cannabis? Mm -hmm. And is this the cannabis that people use recreationally? Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you just explain? Yeah, well, they, they are all cannabis. Both of them they are cannabis. It's just that one of them is um, has less THC in it, which is the hemp. Mm -hmm. It has less, less THC. And the one that we are working with now is the one that is at an international standard at 0.3% okay. THC. Mm -hmm. Right, the other one, which they call marijuana, you know, which is also another cannabis, mm -hmm. that one has more THC content in it. So as a result of that, um, we find a clear difference between both. Mm -hmm. The one that we are involved in is 0.3% is mainly for industrial purpose. Right. It does a lot where the industry is concerned for different products and materials and you know medicine etc etc. Mm -hmm. But the other one is very very strong and potent for the medicine. That's where the strength mm -hmm. of the medical aspect of it comes okay. in that one here. So is this what you're dealing with is not the medicinal No, no, it's not. The, yeah, it's not the one that people smoke. Uh -huh. It's not the regular one that people call weed. Mm -hmm. This one I've never been grown in Ghana before. Mm -hmm. You know, because this one is, this is a direct industrial one. Right? No matter how much of it you smoke, it will not make you high because it's only 0.3% that is in it. This is the one that's been passed in Parliament and we are now waiting on the regulations to come forth. So, the license can come out and the people can get involved in the business. Okay, so could you explain the farming opportunity well, for people interested? Well, one of the first things that is um, significant about the one that we are involved in is that it puts you into a legal regime as opposed to the other one which is illegal. So all the farmers that are cultivating now in Ghana, they are in the illegal re regime, facing a lot of um, 
you know, law, legal issues, yes. you know, if they get caught, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. With this one, you wouldn't have to go through that because this lease has been legalized. Right. So we um, we are actually focusing on that mm -hmm. for the betterment of the farmers in terms of transferring them over to a legal regime so that they can continue with their business and develop just like any business person, you know, doing any other service or business in the yes. same manner. Mm -hmm. So that is that is one of the main things that we do. Secondly is that we are here to actually help train a lot of these farmers as regard to how mm -hmm. to cultivate the hemp because it's not the regular one that they grow here, right? Okay. That um, engagement in that cultivation in those communities will empower the community because of the fact that you know, it's very profitable mm -hmm. and um, it will give the farmers even a greater opportunity to even diversify later mm -hmm. and go over into value added products. There are so many different products that you can make from it mm -hmm. that later on, if they want, they can go into that aspect or still cultivate mm -hmm. whatever the case is. So, as regards to the economic aspect of it, it's vast. Mm -hmm. you know, it can also assist the government to. You know, stop going overseas to borrow money from the IMF, the World Bank, and other entities, which mm -hmm. comes with so many, you know, strings attached. You know, um, you know, we hope that they will see of that value in it mm -hmm. and adjust it from that standpoint and be a little more independent financially. Okay, so let's get into the the nuts and bolts of. Um, I'm sorry, go turn out okay. the stove. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're cooking. <laughs> Let's talk a bit more now about the financial opportunities because, uh -huh. yeah, that's what we're all interested in. Yes, uh -huh. yes, okay. Um, presently, we have four options, right? And the, the smallest option is 35 acre that mm -hmm. you would have to take out as a first contract. Mm -hmm. That 35 acre will allow you to cultivate um, the cannabis for export, mm -hmm. which we pro provide you with an off-taker, because we have a, an off-taker agreement mm -hmm. that we can give you that off-taker agreement mm -hmm. and um, assist you with your business plan, mm -hmm. help you to get your registration for your company, because you have to have a company, okay. a private enterprise that you engage in mm -hmm. and various other um, services that we give to help you to get your business going including provide the seeds right. for you as well mm -hmm. right that 35 acres can get you um, a sum of 525,000 525 525 US dollars 525,000 US dollars profit right and I wouldn't say total profit because you have to spend some of that to actually do your cultivation. So take for instance, you may use maybe a hundred thousand out of it to get your farm established or mm -hmm. get your, your business together and so on. Mm -hmm. But that is the, um, the figure that you will end up with. Is that an annual profit? That's, no, that's every four months. Every four yeah, months? Yeah, yeah, you do three times for the year. Wow. So you do repeat that three times for the year. So we are actually making millionaires. Just repeat that figure again. <laughs> repeat the figure again. Yeah, the figure is 525,000 for cultivating 35 acres, acres of hemp 0 0.3. And yes. we provide you with an off-taker. Okay, and the off-taker is, who is that? So the buyer? Oh, yeah, that's a buyer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a buyer. So we, we have that intact already. We signed an agreement um, mm -hmm. a year ago for five, so 56 million US dollars. That is what we have in store. So all these different wow. farmers, they can have their off taking agreement through us. Brilliant. Mm. Okay, that's the first um, plan you said. Uh, so then, yes, I'll what are the... I'll forget you. Really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've come to the end of the first part of our fantastic interview with Ras Aswad of Hempire. Please contact Hempire for more information and remember to do your due diligence. We're just bringing you the information. Please take time to check out everything carefully. So once again, we wanna say thank you for watching all the way to the end. Please remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also to like the video, leave us a comment and click the notification bell on all so that you never miss one of our uploads. Thanks so much to all our viewers. Thank you for supporting our channel and we will see you in Ghana 
next time.